Colorful kites in the sky are a traditional sight during China's Qingming Festival. Luo Huanwen, a kite-making craftsman in Beijing, tells the meaning behind the tradition of flying kites on this special day. Of course, good weather and wind are an important reason, but there's more. In the past, people would cut the thread and let the kite float away. It's seen as letting go of bad luck. Luo has been making kites for over 40 years. He's made hundreds of delicate kites in different sizes, shapes and patterns. Kites can be made in different styles. As you can see, here we have eagles, swallows, butterflies of course, crabs, and a boy catching a goldfish. And you may find patterns of bats, dragons, a phoenix, and a Chinese character meaning long life. These are all signs of good fortune. These kites can all be disassembled and reassembled making them handy for people to carry. Luo says making a kite from scratch by hand is no easy task. He starts by binding the frame using bamboo sticks and paints the pattern on a fabric and then paste it onto the frame. Hmm? <laughs> good, good. This is how you paint a kite. Basically, you lay the paint on evenly and make sure there is no interspace left out. And such painting needs to be done at least three times to make up the pattern and the special design you wish to have onto the kite. Every handmade kite is the result of the design, much dedicated work and, of course, craftsmanship. Although kites can be mass-produced by machines, Luo says the hand-making skill and craft is of high value. Kites are intangible cultural heritage of China and have a history of more than 2,000 years. There is something our ancestors gave us. We should pass the craft on. He now has several apprentices and his granddaughter is also learning the skill, carrying the cultural burden to a new generation. Cao Bing, CGTN, Beijing.